All right, boys, we got a massive episode today. We got Canelo coming on the pod. Before we get into it, this episode is sponsored by Prize Picks. You guys know we have been messing with Prize Picks heavy, heavy, heavy. I've tried so many different apps when firing on sports, and Prize Picks is by far the best, boys. Instead of choosing teams, you're choosing individual players. So each player has a set projection, and you either go more or less than that set projection. So if you guys are smart with sports and you know what players are gonna perform on what nights, Dude, there's no better app than prize picks for you. And boys, we got you guys on a code. Code NELF, it's a 100% deposit bonus. So take advantage of that. If you put in 100 bucks, they're literally gonna match your 100 bucks. So use code NELF, take advantage of that code. Prize picks is available in 70% of the United States, boys. California, Texas, Florida. All season long, football's back. We're firing happies, firing prize picks. Let's get into the pot. <laughs> Massive, massive episode today, boys. We got Canelo coming in. I think it's his only interview that he's really doing before the fight, too. Yeah, that's funny. I'm a huge pretty fan crazy. Of yeah, he's sick. He's obviously, I mean. He's an absolute legend. I don't know how we get him. You guys always ask us, how do you get these people? But <sighs> it's pretty crazy. It's yeah. really cool to be able to sit down with people like this, too. Oh, absolutely. These are the days where it's like, yo, this is the most lit job ever. I woke 100%. up this morning and I was like, wow. Pretty grateful to do this. How was it? How how did you wake up this morning? I woke up this morning and just, dude, was had a what the f moment. Like I haven't had that in a while. How long? Like a week and a half, two weeks? No, I drink, but I never like get to that <laughs> point. I really don't, bro. Like I don't ever get to that point. Yeah. And um, I always like to be in control, but uh, yeah, no, I went through my phone, texted a lot of people. One of those scaries. But you just own it. Can we talk about it or no? Yeah, for, okay. for, yeah. I guess Gambles woke up this morning in the. Uh, he had seven missed calls from Steiny at one, f seven, seven boosting. Yeah, of course. Seven you're missed calls that. from uh, Steiny at one forty-five a.m. And I guess you were ringing on our doorbell last night at two a.m. We went. I don't know like what my motive was, bro. I wish I. Knew I, know, I don't why. know what you were looking for. Like I don't know what was. That was we went we, we went to bed super early because we're fucking. You guys have been seeing. We're posting. We're on the fucking. We're on a gym mission right now. Monday to Saturday. Yeah. Been dialed. Admit it. Yeah, no, you guys, are, yeah. I've never seen this in my life, bro. It's crazy. We've been dialed. We're just trying to, basically, the, the cheat code, boys, is we're still partying. It's chicks. If you can, it is chicks. If you cannot get distracted That's by something, I guess, were you, you, what the fuck happened to you? You weren't even chasing pussy last night, though. No, I was you chasing, chasing money. Something. Yeah, I was trying to get my money back. It was a fucking, it was bad, bro. I think if you could just keep the chicks to Saturday, every Saturday, like, that's what I said. I'm fucking working out Monday to Saturday. And Saturday morning you work out, possibly even get a two a day in Saturday. Yeah. And then you hit the fucking town and you wheel. Are you beating off more? I'm beating off, yeah. But like more? Not more. Probably. I mean, you don't just get like bored and shit. That's how I get. You distracted. get bored, but it's either you make gains or be bored. <sighs> Fuck, bro. No, like, you're right. But I've been doing pretty well. You even asked me today, like, oh, why don't I bring like that chick over tonight? You could say whatever you want, but when you bring them over, something is going to be affected, guaranteed. Yeah. Like, sleep. they're going to want to drink. It's like, I don't even want to, like, I want to stay dialed till Saturday. Every Saturday is the day. You earn that every single time. What do you think? What's, like, your ultimate goal with this? I, wanna, like, I think it's going to be great for my career. I just, and no, I just but I mean, think like, looks-wise. Like, I want to be jacked. Like, fighter jacked. I don't know. I mean, for, I'm going to shred down first, and I might get a little bit skinny because I'm trying to lose the barrel yeah and then after that i'll build back up a little bit okay but till thanksgiving november i'm probably gonna stick to this like would you feel comfortable with taking a urine test because i think you're taking something i can yeah <laughs> i i will i seriously i don't know bro i just think you're on something well i'm not because your strength is you're per, you're strong as fuck now you said you put up 225 no problem not no problem i, I can't you said you were throwing day. weight around which i never said that i was throwing 225 around okay well that's big i could respect. do like one and a half reps and then some days i can't even do it because i'm not just I guess it varies. But, bro, we're turning 30 next year. Like, Chill, bro. I'm pushing 28. You're 29. No, nah, 28. 29. I'm not so, close. I'm like, closer to 28 think, than 30. Don't you think on your 30th, it'd Fuck be, like, that. dope? Like, people are going to chirp us for being 30. They're already chirping us for being 29. So, like, it it'd be dope if you were, like, a shredded 30-year-old. Yeah. Because then it's like, okay. And <laughs> yeah. I honestly feel Holy like 30, 30 is that sniping age, too. Like, the 30s could actually be the best years of our life, honestly. You can actually yeah. snipe all chicks in the 30s, too. No, 30s are definitely... I think that's where... you can snipe older chicks, and then you can still st snipe, like, the 25-year-olds. What do you like, think? Like, you're, you're in the best sniping range in your 30s. Yeah, but I don't go for, like, older, like, than 30 ever. Do you? 
but you can in your 30s if you have want you? to. If you so choose. I have before, but I'm not super into it. I'm not a huge, like, let's fuck a MILF guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, me neither. I'd rather fuck a young MILF. Yeah, I'm not a huge MILF guy at all. No, I'm not. Like, the cougar, cool and cougar bars and shit, it's just not really for me. Yeah, it's just like, it's actually like having a mommy. But I can't say I've done it enough that I could really diss it. Yeah, no, I haven't done it. I've I taken down actually, a lot. Of, now that I think about it, I don't even think I've ever been with a milf. I've taken down a lot of young moms. I know you have, like twenty five year olds. What's good with that? I don't like I don't that, know, bro. Just, it, it freaks me out. You gotta know how to handle them. But it's just you like the fact that them. that chick has had a kid, like, and you're putting your but dick both, in them. I don't know. Well, it's got to be a rich young mom. Yeah, all, but have all you the ever, young moms I've taken down, like their families are loaded, so you know they're not after you for like money. Like their grandparents take care of the kid and shit. They're still out partying in the clubs. Aren't you, you know worried I mean? about like going they're to the shitty moms, but they're hot. <laughs> Aren't you worried about like going to the fridge and like the kid comes out of his room and you have to have that like well, I've never been to their house. Oh. No. Oh, okay. They gotta slam you at least what five times before you meet the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. See, that's the thing, is like what if you find a really hot girl that you really get along with, but she has a kid? Would you do it? Like, I mean, I'm not in a relationship look, with them. I it would take me so much to get into a relationship in general, dude. Right now. It's just so much work. I'm so happy being single. Damn, dude. Not because it's just like... Ah, you're like motivating me. I feel like I gotta change my fucking ways. You guys are coming back from the gym. I'm waking up fucking... Yeah, you were probably still awake. a different planet, bro. You were probably still awake when we woke up. Yeah, probably. (laughs) We woke up at 6 (laughs) a.m. Fuck, bro. Yeah, no, it just feels good, bro. I, I just like... I like partying still, obviously, but it's just like... It's the fucking... It's the balance. Plus, I think, yeah, can like we talk, I said. Can we, can we talk about what made you uh, want to have this motive? No, I mean, it's just, I think it's it's good for everything. Like, especially, yeah, we're getting older. Like, now it's, people want to see us be more of, like, role models. Like, we got the fucking, we obviously party. Yeah. We got the business shit going, you know. We got the empire. But I think the one thing missing is just being, like, fucking jacked. I know. I need to clean up and my And, like, act. healthy yeah and then but also i don't want to be a pussy that doesn't fucking party like i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna go sober or some shit and i'm not dissing people that go sober but i'm i'm still gonna rip i know i'm kind of over sometimes i'm kind of over the partying though i just dude (laughs) i am you got fucking blacked out on a monday man (laughs) you're not over partying we're going through like this rebrand and stuff like i'm really i'm trying to do what you're doing more i just dude i have urges and i can't control it yeah you're fucking like pretty easily tempted your thing is just like sex though what do you mean? Like, you can't give that up. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty fucking hard. You're like a cuddle addict, too. <laughs> yeah, dude, I like to like, have a Like, you can't have one night without a chick. I mean, I like to have somebody with me, bro. I, I know. Well, you got to get over that. You don't get lonely? No. I don't. I thought I would after I was single, but I, I get fucking don't. lonely at the house. I'm not going to lie. Okay, well, get over it. There's What's no going to happen? Are you going to die? Just, like, sleeping alone? So people know, like, at the house, we don't, we don't really all kick it, I realize. Well, because I go to bed early and wake up early. You could come to the gym like, with us. Yeah. We used to, like, it's just, I'm just dialed. Fuck. There's nothing to kick it past fucking 9, 30, 10 on a weeknight. Yeah. If you're waking up at 5 a.m. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. But I don't know. I think that's the key. You just got to put aside pussy for fucking three months. Because no matter what, the chicks will want to drink. And they maybe not other guys, but with us, they just look at us and they're like, oh, okay, like, no, boys, I want to party with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't come right. with us to play chess that's or fucking read for books. Sure. Yeah. Of course. Exactly. That's also like our flex though. That's the problem. Yeah, it's good. And it works. Yeah. It's a it's a blessing and a curse, right? Yeah. But I think it'll be cool. I'm gonna try to do it till like November thanks like Thanksgiving, that's when it is, right? American Thanksgiving. Yeah. So are we gonna pick up uh IRL? Streaming? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Try it out. I think it'll be cool. What's I think that we could What's kill your it. honest opinion on that? And do you do you get scared I about think it? Of in what just way? Just the fact that it's like real time, like no, nothing edited, basically. No, not really. I don't think so, dude. I don't. I don't know why, but I'm kind of surprised. Like, I have had this feeling that something bad's gonna happen to a streamer. Well, there's already bad shit that's probably happened to streamers in the past, right? But I'm just saying, like, now that you're doing this in real life, definitely. You're... Well, if everyone's gonna start to do it, and the thing about us is, when we do something, we're gonna do it properly and smart. Yeah. But like, obviously, everyone else is just gonna run around with their heads cut off and try it. So there's definitely gonna be bad shit that's gonna happen. Yeah. But I think it would be big for us, just purely for the fact that, like, just the clips, like we talked about, go viral. Yeah. Just because it's live, and you know it's live. Yeah. Like it's... if I show speed lights fireworks off in his room in a YouTube video or on a live stream, it's obviously gonna go more viral in the clip when it's live because you're like yo that was live like it just looks more raw yeah 100 percent. i'm saying so i think if we're not going to like stream all the time but i think if we did it every once in a while i think it'd be big for us huge 
But it, it's definitely conflicting with YouTube. Yeah. So that's where we have to follow, figure out that balance. Yeah, for sure. But I think it would be cool. All right, let's get Canelo in here. Hey. What's going on, Kyle? How are you? Great to meet you. Thanks for, right, thanks thanks for coming through. What's up, Austin? How are you? Good to meet you, man. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, oh, thank yeah. you. All right, guys. We got an uh, amazing, amazing episode. Absolute legend in the house. We got Canelo. Fired up. Thanks for coming through, bro. We really, really appreciate you. Oh, no, my pleasure. Thank you for the support. Of course. Oh, yeah. So what's this what's this week been like and what does this new fight kind of mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. Every fight means a lot for me. But uh, this this fight especially it means more than the other because he never believed in, in my skills. And now I'm able to prove him to to show him my, my, my skills and that's that's something amazing for me. You're one of like the best of all time. Like you're literally a boxing legend. Like how do you, what what like motivates you still to, to like fight? I love what I do. I love boxing and I love uh, uh, being in these big fights and 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 fight like this. Like I just enjoy what I what I do and love what I do. That's why I still motivate in, in boxing. So I I think I I have many things to do and more history to yeah. accomplish. What, what, what are some of those goals that you want to get? Or what's like something you just have to achieve in your career? Just fight the best and, 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 and try to do the best fights out there and that people enjoy. And, and you know, like I always do, moving up and away classes and, and go down and win world titles. And that's, that's the only thing I, I I won in in my career. Do you think a lot of people are like? It seems like you're being counted out by a lot of people in this fight too. Uh, um, like it seems like a lot of people think that Charlo could like upset you. Yeah, they they won. Yeah, that's why they won. But I do it is different. And that's different because he's gonna feel some something different in the ring with me. He's no he's no the same fighter he's used to to fight gonna be different and, and I'm gonna show them I know they want they they want everybody wants him to beat me but I, it's gonna be difficult where does he rank amongst like your past opponents you think no he's he's a great fighter he's a good fighter he's a strong fighter uh, he know how to to box he know how to go forward he's a strong fighter with a lot of skills but you know I mean in this position for a long time uh, I fought with uh, every every style and I'm ready for, for, for everybody. Do, do you think that you're like in your best shape you've been in your career right now? Like yeah, your one best of the ability, best. even though you're older now than like. Yeah, I, I feel one of the best shapes in, in my life. I feel in my prime and, and this cam especially is, is, is one of the best in, in, my, in my career. Are you playing golf during camp or no? Or do you no. stay away? No, no golf at all. That's that's difficult for me. No play Fucks golf. Up your back, right? Yeah, but no, that's difficult for me. No play golf because I love golf so much. But you know, first is first, and I need to I need to work and be disciplined, focused for the fight uh, for the fight. And and I don't play golf like a two months and a half. Damn, has that been tough you miss for you? It? Yeah, it's, it's tough. Well, golf is the best. I mean, bro. yeah, but how how good's your game? It's good. It's what are you good. shooting? Eighty. Eighty. 78, 80. Ooh, yeah. you're breaking 80? Yeah. How long have you been playing? Uh, three, four years. Damn. What four made you decide to pick up golf? Uh, one of my friends invited me to play golf in the pandemic. Uh -huh. And and that's how I started in, in golf. At the beginning, I hit the ball everywhere, you know. Sometimes I don't hit the ball. And that's when I realized, because so, before I say, no, golf is boring, like, like a, for... It looks All boring people, from the outside, yeah, right? Yeah. When, Until when you, you get, when you start playing, it's fucking addicted. Yeah. So that's how I start. And you're already breaking eighty in four years. That's yeah. My that's best is, is seventy four. Dang. But I nice to shoot under it's par, for, right? It, yeah. <laughs> it's hard for me because when I start training, I stop practice. Yeah. I stop everything, and to start again is like a, you want to start again. The tempo, timing, everything. Who do you you never with? even broken a hundred, probably. Yeah, yeah I have. I have. I could hit low nineties. Nineties. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not bad. That's fine because you you in golf you can you can play with the, your handicap and that's that's funny. Yeah, exactly. Who's, who's your favorite golfer? I have. Uh, a few. Yeah, a few. 
yeah. Rory, John Ram, Rory. Justin Thomas, Sergio Finao, Garcia. Sergio, Sergio Garcia. When I start, when I have like two months playing, I play pro am with them in Mexico. Nice. No, like a practice round with them, and he he gave me a little tips because my is light, you know. <laughs> you start, but Sergio, uh, he freaks out a little bit though. He's yeah, kind of a head case. Yeah, he he had problems with the pot. I think. <laughs> you seem like you keep your composure pretty yeah. well up there. He's a Spanish that way. I have to ask you this. It's kind of like uh, it happened a week ago or whatever, but what do you think about the aliens? I don't know, man. Bro, do you believe them? You saw like Mexico showed the skeletons? Yeah, I, I, I saw that, but uh, <laughs> I really don't care. Yeah. If, they look if, pretty fake. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm just curious. If I really don't care. I don't, I don't know. If something is going to happen, it's going to happen, right? Yeah. I really don't care if the alien, aliens exist. We we want to figure out, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just thought it was a big moment for Mexico. Um, this is your <laughs> first time not fighting on the, the Mexican Independence Day too, right? No, it's a couple of times. Couple yeah, times? I missed that, okay. that day. Uh, especially for this, I don't have the contract yet, the fight ready. So, But I, I, don't, I don't care too because every day is Mexican Day for... For my fans and for my people. Yeah. They're awesome. some of the best fans ever. I went to your fight against Triple G and it's actually insane how passionate yeah. they are. Yeah, if you see Ryan, you saw right now in the Ryan Arrival, they are there screaming and and support me very hard. And that's that's something motivating myself. How, how big is the fighting culture in Mexico? Like, how did you even get into it? Because my older brother. He started boxing. I saw him when he go into a pro, and that's when I when I saw him fighting. I said, "This is what I want for my life. This is this is what this is what I do for my for my life." And then when you got in there, did you just pick it up right away? Or yeah, not not right like, away because uh, yeah, natural. Because I start uh, when I was 13 years old, and I get into a pro when I was 15. So a year and a half after. And you were still working at the time at the ice cream shop? Yeah. So what was that like? Did, was your dad trying to force you to kind of just Yeah, he don't, work? Wa he don't want me to, to go to the gym because he wants me to stay working in the ice creams. But I said, you know, you gonna, you need to do something because I'm always going to go to the gym. So, What do you think like your draw was to the sport? Like what made you love boxing so much? I don't know. I born from this. Yeah. That's Clearly, that's yeah. that's my only thing because when I saw my brother fighting, I fell in love in boxing, mm -hmm. with boxing. So but I don't know. I just enjoy every moment. Were you bullied at all as a kid in Mexico? Yeah, because I'm the different from the class. Complexion. Right. Maybe that's why I, I love what I do and because I always fighting in the streets. Yeah. Oh, so you used to fight in the streets? Yeah, yeah every day. Damn. Like how would that happen? Just random people or you guys were just... No, they, they, they say something to me like freckles and my red hair, you know. Yeah. They try to fuck with me and I... And you just fucked them up? Yeah. Damn. But I love I love it. I enjoy it a lot. <laughs> Wait. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. Um, what do you think are some of the, like, the biggest moments or what's your been your favorite moment in your career, you think? Being a, I think I have a lot of, a lot of good moments. But uh, one of my... Best moment is when I beat Miguel Angel Cotto, a yeah. legend from boxing. I think that changed my 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 career. After that, I feel more confident, uh, better fighter, and I think is is that's one of my best moments. How you, about how about fighting? I mean, you fought Floyd Mayweather at what? You're 23. 23. That's Holy so shit. fucking yeah. young. Yeah. Like I I. And he was like that was one he was probably no, he at his was prime, in his right? Prime, prime, yeah. prime, and you're only 23. 23. What was that like? I trained so hard, and now obviously I I tried to beat him because you know beat him. If you beat him, you 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 wanna be the best in the yeah. world at 23. So imagine that. But uh, you know, he was the better man that night. A lot of experience. He's a great fighter. So, but I learned. I learned a lot, and that's when I that's 
when I realize, I say, this is don't, no, don't gonna stop me. I'm gonna be the, the best one day, no matter what. So that fight helped me a lot. What do, you, what do you think about how he's doing all the exhibitions and stuff right now? I think it's good. I think it's good because, you know, it's, it's that's what easy I... It's easy money to turn yeah, down, probably, Yeah, easy right? money. And, and he, don't, he don't lie to the people. It's for money, yeah. right? And the people enjoy it and enjoy a show. And that's fine because, you know, I think when you retire and then you want to miss boxing because you do this your whole life and then you stop doing... You, I think exhibition is 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 good I because like tyson fury even he always retires and comes back too and mm. like i guess you just you're gonna miss doing what you love right yeah do you ever like look back on that fight and think about what you could have done differently or you yeah behind you? yeah i always think i i i can do this different and this and this but I, at the end of the day i can do nothing right well, what do you think is was so impressive about him his experience he's yeah. so so smart he 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 have everything in a fighter, you know, a complete fighter. He don't have power in the punches, but uh, sometimes you don't need it. You know, when you that kind of fighter, you don't need it. Yeah, and do you think you think that was the toughest fight you faced? No. What do you? I think, think he's one. I tough fights and difficult fights. That was uh -huh. a difficult fight. Okay. Yeah, I think Golovkin is one of my difficult fights. Uh, top fights yeah do you like no did were you getting frustrated like in the ring yeah very much with him yeah and how I, do you, like, I try to that? i try to to hit so hard him and and try to know knock out him and and when you don't you don't get you don't catch him and, and you don't you miss a lot of punches that that's hard yeah that's hard would you ever do like exhibitions like that or like people like Jake Paul call you out or these like other big stars? Like, is that, is that business wise, like even worth it? When I'm done with boxing, why not? Maybe, maybe I'll do it. Why not? I think it's like when you're done, like competing at the highest yeah. level, you're saying? Yeah. 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 Um, I think it's good because, uh, you know, what happened there is other people who, who never see bo watch boxing or they don't know anything about boxing they they want to watch Jake Paul because he's coming from no, he he bring fans from other yeah world right yeah. no boxing fans and that's good that's good because everybody enjoy it so you think you would ever would you ever entertain that idea when you're done maybe maybe do, do you like respect you know, there's a, this whole new wave of like YouTube fighters. Like, do you respect them as fighters? As a fighter, I don't know, because being a fighter is is different. Mm -hmm. No, but uh, what they do, uh, I think they do for business. Yeah, and you need to respect that. Yeah, right? for sure. Are you paying attention at all to this, the Dylan Dennis Logan Paul? You've seen that card no. at all? Not at all. No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking are about. You, are you like pretty active on social media or not? No. Sometimes I delete my, my apps in my in my phone. Delete yeah. them? Yeah. And I don't watch. I don't what watch. What for? Just to like stay focused or just... Yeah. I, it's you don't like to consume. To, you, you lose so much time. Time, right? I know. You lose, And you see and you don't the realize. same things every, every day. Yeah. You don't see anything new. So, so do you just see, you don't even really have social media on your phone at all, or like when do you? Yeah, sometimes I delayed for six, seven months. Damn. I have my people who, who in charge, and posting things and everything like that. But uh, sometimes it's good because you know, you're more happy. Definitely. Sure. Well, you're just you don't you're just sitting there scrolling and you're consuming so much yeah. pointless shit that you, you don't you're even. You're wasting need to time. Know. You're wasting time. Man. Sometimes I've been in the in seeing things and i say i see this every day the same thing nothing changed yeah right? it's a lot of stuff you don't need to know yeah it's true yeah it's definitely not good for your mental health right what, what are some other hobbies that you have outside of golf uh i like horses i like horses cars too how many cars do you have i don't know <laughs> i saw a video of a tour in your house quick. and you had like motorcycles in your living room and stuff yeah that was the, the garage, uh, oh, okay. uh, but I, in the, like in a hall, 
it's like a motorcycle. How many cars like is it like twenty to thirty or like you just have no clue? Yeah, like more than thirty. More than thirty. Do you have a favorite? Uh, La Ferrari. Oh yeah, yeah. my Those favorite. Sick. And the Bugatti too, but I think La Ferrari is my favorite. Damn, how much is Bugatti worth? Like three point five, three point <laughs> three, something like that. God, <laughs> what do you think is the total value of all your cars? I don't know. Just in two cars, is like eight. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Well, that's Ferrari, ridiculous. Yeah, they're fucking yeah. Crazy. crazy. Isn't there yeah. only like a hundred or something of those? Huh? Isn't there only like a hundred of those in the world or something? Two hundred, I guess. Damn. So how did you? How do you go about like getting that car? I always wanted La Ferrari, but uh, sometimes guys selling for so much money, and I found found this this guy, and and I and I buy it for a for a good price. So. Uh, I enjoy my car a lot. I love it. What's it like being like such a like influential like celebrity of like a country like Mexico that's mm-hmm. so like passionate and like I don't know do like what what's that like? like I f- I feel proud about representing my country because you know it's it's a great country. Mexico is just something something amazing. The people uh, Mexico is the Mexico world is world. is something amazing. The people, <laughs> the work, they hard workers. Oh yeah, we have a lot of good, uh, uh, a lot of good things, a lot of good places, good food, uh, everything. We have everything. What's the best spots for us to visit? Like uh, if we want to go do like a boys trip to Mexico, we like been, what? I've been to Cabo. We've been to Mexico, been to Mexico City. City. Mexico City was cool. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good been restaurants. A lot of good. This. I've been like Tulum. We've been there, Cancun. Yeah, we're from think, Guadalajara, right? Yeah, from Guadalajara. We've never been there, right? No, maybe we. That'd be cool. You want to invite us to your crib? Yeah, <laughs> why not? How many horses do you have? I have in in my house. I have like thirty. And do you you like ride them in the back or? Yeah, I love <laughs> That's it. Fucking awesome. I I ride it like uh, since I was six years old. What's your house like there? Is it like a big like property? Big. Big, like a ranch. Ranch? Big ranch. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Any other animals on there or just the horses? A lion. You have a lion? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you should get one. <laughs> I joke with with uh, with people who, who went there. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, he's a lion in outside. Be careful. And then they, uh, everybody's scared. you looking for the lion and everything. Bro, <laughs> lions are fucking scary. <laughs> no. I just, just horses and... Uh, and peacock, 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 uh-huh. and why? Did, like, how do you decide to buy like a peacock? Because you know that that's just a flex, though. Don't lie. Yeah, yeah. like you're like there I'm that guy. I'm gonna much, buy a peacock. How much does a peacock Beca- cost? I don't remember, but uh, I have white, white peacock, and and the normal color, because I you know I feel like uh, they bring something good for the house. Really, they feel good vibes for the house. It is dope having a peacock around. Yeah, what, can we buy like a goat or something? Would you accept a goat? that? A goat? Yeah. Goats are that cheap. Fucking do, no, that fucking destroy your house. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep them in the back or something. Or uh, yeah, like yeah. yeah. We've got to get something more exotic. That was kind of offensive. We're not going to get you a goat. Yeah. Yeah. Something more. A, a goat? goat? He's got peacocks, bro. I don't know what's more exotic. Uh, anything but a goat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right, I'll think of something else. Maybe like a crocodile or something. Crocodile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What about like a baby tiger? Hmm? What if we got you baby tiger? It's fine. That'd be good, right? Yeah. For the house? That would be fun. Uh, who are some of your biggest inspirations? Me, Muhammad yeah. Ali. Because he do a lot of things outside of boxing for people. Yeah. For us, for the fighters too. Yeah. I was going to ask you, what's what's something like you've done for Mexico or that you're just super proud of? Uh, I I always try to help people. A lot of people. But I don't I don't like to say... In um, me, social media, because I do from the bottom of my heart. So, but uh, I always try to to help as much I I can. Yeah. Everything I can help, I I do it. Yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Sorry to interrupt the pod, but this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Boys, I don't advertise anything on the pod that I don't actually use, and I actually really, really love Manscaped. The thing I love about it is there's so many different products and it's literally a one-stop shop. So you don't gotta buzz around to different websites or go to the store. No, just go to Manscaped, 
and they literally have everything. I fucking love this razor. It literally looks like Elon Musk made it. It looks like a fucking Tesla razor. Switch it to all the different lengths. I love it. It's good for the fucking bush. It's good for the fucking face. I don't know if you're supposed to use the same one at the same time, but I fucking do it. And then you got the handyman here too. This thing gets nice up and close. Dude, there's so much shit. Just literally go to Manscaped. They got the creams, the butters. They got the fucking sack deodorant, which is a huge for post-gym pills. And also boys, we got you guys on a code. So code NELK is 20% off the entire site and free shipping. Code NELK, 20 fucking percent off the whole site and free shipping. Boys, it's time to fucking wheel. Summer's over. We're getting fucking shredded and we gotta be fucking groomed up if you want a full bird. Straight up, we know that. You can't have a full bush. You can have a little bit of bush, but you gotta keep it tame down there. You gotta keep the sacks on fresh. Go to manscaped.com. Code NELK, 20% off the site and free shipping. Take advantage of that, boys. Let's get back on the puck. What was it like being in Creed 3? It's, I, don't, I don't know how to respond that because like, it's just like a, it? It fun? fast. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. Yeah. But fun that people uh, think I'm gonna be in the rain or something. They wanna watch me in the rain and something. But I just fast like in the red carpet and that's it. But it's, it was fun. Do you like like do you like doing stuff like that, like the Hollywood stuff or movies, TV? I don't like that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, if I some I have the opportunity to act in a movie, I like I like a like a. Vikings or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was gonna say, what, what would be a role you'd want? Yeah, Vikings or something from something like that. Like a Viking? Yeah. What's your training like? Like today? What What was your training session? I train in the morning. I use light work because you know I done the the hard work. I use light work, pads and everything, and re remember everything we gonna do in the fight, and 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 make that weight so maintain that weight yeah. as you're getting older has your like training become harder for you no or have you made any changes nothing wow no, i feel i feel but you're 33 like I'm, right i'm i'm fucking fresh he's been this for a long yeah. time though yeah. he's only four years older than us bro bro but he's been you be, like you said you fought no, I know. 10 like, years ago yeah like you've been doing this shit for a while yeah but i feel fresh i feel like uh I'm no that my, wasn't shade either you look, in my you look like you're in, in my shape. best yeah yeah You've been kind of, I've seen some stuff about with the whole like Oscar De La Hoya thing. Just like that relationship and you guys kind of falling out. And Just in like business and stuff. Like switching over to the new promotion. Yeah. I'm glad to go away yeah. from him. Yeah. Cause he's fucking crazy. Is <laughs> he? Yeah. One of our, we're really good friends with Dana White. Yeah. And he all, he doesn't like Oscar De La Hoya too, I said. I think like, nobody. Nobody? I think nobody. Why do you think? Nobody who knows close. Because he's a vacuum, right? He's, <laughs> he's. I don't know what. He, he's fucking crazy. He's hypocrite. Hypocrite. Mm. That's the word. He's fucking. He's no. He don't have nothing. No loyal. He what just, do you mean by that, though? He's. He's. So how can someone not be loyal to you? Like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, you know. That's my favorite clip of Dana White when they ask that's him about why, That's why he, right now, he's every, every time he's in, in problems, he don't have any fighters left. Ryan Garcia, because he, he signed with, with him. But uh, now Ryan Garcia, I think he's, he's in a problem with him. But uh, that's why nobody wants to be with him, because he's, he's not loyal. How does that work? Like, like, don't you sign a deal and then it's either right now like he's talking about chat about me. But I, if I w went with him in his promoter, he, oh, Canelo is the best and this and but we wanna do this and he's the best pom pom pom. And but I, I'm not with him anymore and he he's always is it, the is opposite. It, isn't it like important too? Because just like be both being Mexican fighters, like you have that initial bond, right? Hmm? Like you're both Mexican fighters, right? And same with like Ryan Garcia. So you guys have that bond? Were you surprised that like things didn't go well? No, I don't know. But I I I I tell Ryan Garcia before he signed, hey, just be careful and you need to see first what do you want for you for your career because this and that. And at the end of the day, he signed with him and and look what happened. So how does that work like in the business of boxing? Like, are you signing like a per fight deal? Like, is that how it works when you with, sign with the promotion company? It depends the fighter. Right. 
So obviously, the bigger you get, the more yeah. leverage you have. But yeah, it depends on the fighter. Like uh, right now, I can do whatever I want, right? But uh, when you don't sell anything, you no, know, you need to sign with a promoter, and uh, you wanna get this and this and this and fine. So yeah. You have guarantees. Yeah. So and that's fine because work for 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 you. But uh, Ryan, like fighting like, like me, or Ryan Garcia can do too, but uh, he don't visualize that in that moment. He can do it like, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I sell tickets, I sell pay-per-views, I, I, a big draw, so I can do whatever I want at the end of the day. What do you, what do you think of Garcia after his like, loss to Tank? Do you still think he has that potential to be yeah. like, one of the best in the sport? Yeah, he has potential, he has a lot of skills. You have a lot of potential to to be one of the biggest star in boxing. Do you think it's like a mental thing when you have all that pressure and you go in there and you get like, some would say you got like embarrassed kind of? It's hard. It's, it's obviously it's hard. But, uh, hmm. I mean, that was a big fight for him to take too, right? Yeah. yeah. I guess he could have, they could have both dodged that. Do you think that it was too early to take that fight or do you think it was no. smart? What I, what I think he need to do is take that loss and learn from that loss. Mm-hmm. He need to fight soon to 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 give in the eyes of the people who saw him fighting with Tang, right? Because no matter what, he's a big star. He's a big st- attraction for, for sure. young people. Yeah, for sure. So I think he he need to he need to to fight soon. Yeah. Do you think social media plays a role? Because he's such a big big young star on social media too. Like yeah. I bet it's tough for him to block out the noise. He need to right? focus on boxing. Yeah. That must because be the other thing come along. Being famous and win a lot of money come along. If you focus on one thing and you you accomplish what you want, yeah. the the money and the and the fam and everything come come together. You can't think about peacocks right now. You got to focus on yeah. boxing. And <laughs> <the> peacocks, <laughs> peacocks come. Does he? He probably doesn't. I don't think. I don't think many people do. He's a he's a good dude though. I really like yeah. Him. No, he's dope. Uh, what would be your dream for some? Who? Who who would be if you had to play golf with three people? Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, John Ram, <laughs> and Rory. And Rory? That seems possible. Yeah, I feel like they'd they'd probably be down to do that. Yeah, of course. That, maybe Tiger, no, but uh, Ram Tiger's and Rory. Tougher. Yeah. yeah, I like John Ram too. Yeah. yeah. Do you watch any UFC or MMA? No. Not at all? No. You're not into it one bit? I just watch uh, when Brandon Moreno, or oh, Mexican fighter, uh, is there, I, I watch it. But uh, I don't even watch boxing. I don't, do I don't, watch, like, I don't like watch boxing. Do you like watch TV or Netflix or anything like that? Golf. <laughs> <laughs> Every weekend, my wife, relaxing. my wife is mad. The Ryder Cup's me. coming up, right? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing better. Watching golf and relaxing is a pretty good combo. Netflix, obviously. Yeah. TV shows? Mm-hmm. No. TV shows. Documentaries? No. Yeah, I like. I like it. Do you think you'll have like a uh, another like Mayweather super fight before the end of your career? Mm. Like someone, you know. I think it's gonna be hard. Yeah. Compared with. With the fight of course, with of course. Yeah. But like, is there any other like, just how people are doing those crossover fights? Like, not against Jake Paul, but like, is there like a, I don't know, an MMA star oh, that no, like, no. just one of those super fights? Yeah, could be. Why you not? think there's anyone in the MMA world that w- you'd ever box or like has mm. called you out? Kamaru Usman called me out one oh, time. Oh right. Huh? And Conor McGregor is say the other day he say, yeah, he can box with I can box with Canelo. Yeah, you can. He can. Do those yeah. type of super fights excite you though? Because me as like a MMA fan, like those like those like excite For me. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's just like it's just I something don't know what different. it is. It's different. Yeah, something and it's just, different. Yeah, it's good. Do something different. Usman, I love Usman, but I don't think that would be. No, no, no. No. Nobody. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's just different. If I go to the octagon, it's, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. How do you think McGregor did against Floyd? Uh, did you see that fight? Yeah, I see the fight. I think Floyd play a little bit with Did him. He? he need to make show for the people, right? That's the yeah. That's the. I think that was was that the most pay per view fight of all time. Yeah, right? yeah, four million something. Huh? Yeah, you don't seem like you don't do much. Like, do you talk shit at all? You're so calm and nice. No, I take show. I I talk shit when when they come 
in a bad mood. <laughs> so I respond that. Uh, yeah. And I'm a good talk. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, I don't like. I always like to respect the the fighter and the op- the 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 fighter because you know I just focus on the fight and bring my best because you can talk chat and uh, and say a lot of things. But at the end of the day, you go in the fight and you don't do nothing. It's the same. It's, it depends what mood they bring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Has has any any of your sorry has any of your previous fights like has it ever gotten personal with you or are you only yeah. Look- yeah, it's like a couple, three or yeah, a couple. Fights. What does it have to do to get to that point where it's not just business? They they fuck with my mother or something like that. And yeah. Uh, so if they talk about talk about, your I just love that. I just love that fucking. And then you get pissed off in there. Yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing when you let your anger? No, it's a good good thing. I think I I fight I fight better when I'm mad. When you're pissed off. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> So when can we come to the crib? Huh? <laughs> when can we come to the house? Yeah. When can we come to the house? You? Yeah. Is that cool or no? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah, you, you, we, can, we can do that. What do you do when you're not training? Do you like party ever? Or do, you, do you drink at all or no? I used to. Used to? You're just completely sober yeah. now? I used to. But uh, I just play golf, enjoy my family and travels and that's it. Nice. Was it hard for you when you became like... Flooding Floyd at 23, like, were there a lot of distractions or was it? Yeah. Really yeah. What was that I, initial rise to like stardom? Like, fun. yeah, it's, I think things happen for a reason, right? Imagine if I fucking beat Floyd Mayweather at oh, age 23. Fuck. Yeah. You would have. Yeah. Maybe I don't. And were you single I don't know at that how time to, too? Huh? Were you married at that time yet or no? No. Okay. Oh my you would have gone crazy. Yeah. And I, I don't know how it's going to be in my life after that, right? You probably would have been doing what Oscar Crazy. De La Hoya does <laughs> no. in his spare time. <laughs> no, that's 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 his his personality. You guys would have been best friends, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. No, that's yeah. I think things happen for a reason, and and that's true. That's a good way to look that's, at it. That's that's what I I look like in that way. I say, you know, maybe not my time. When did you like? Yeah, when was that? When did you really notice like you were really starting to get like famous? I I don't I don't know. I don't you remember notice? like a. One day to the other, I say, oh, my God. It's like, a, right now, I arrival here in MGM, and I see a, all the people scream my name and everything. I say, oh, my God. It's still always weird, right? Yeah. It's weird. and, and But I'm glad in that. And I, I, try, I try to be Saul, no Canelo, to be me. So always with my family, with my friends. I enjoy everything, obviously, because uh, I work hard to be here. But uh, I always try to be me. In Mexico, uh, when you were just starting in your career, was there like like underground boxing events or anything like when you're first starting out that you started boxing before you like started taking it? Underground? Boxers? Yeah, just or like how the, how you see it like at bars or anything like that? You know no. What I'm no, no, no. no. In the, you, what you see in the movies, you I know, know they're bro. real. Have you seen Nacho Libre? <laughs> yeah, I fucking... Have I you fucking, seen Nacho Libre? Yeah. He played Juancho. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking I fucking hate the movies. The mo- I mean, I hate the movies because they just put the bad things of Mexico and and try to put things doesn't it six. What do you think's the biggest like misconception or like false thing that they show? The the houses, the the worst houses in Mexico and and the little towns. Uh, and I don't, I don't like that kind of. Mexico is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Mexico is oh, beautiful. Mexico it's like, it's like here in USA. If you will go into the little towns or, or, or places, it's horrible too. Mm-hmm. One of the places, right? Definitely. It's the same. We have. There's they, poor and rich areas in every country. Yeah, that's what I learned from traveling too. Yeah, I think you're right. They only highlight the. They try and highlight the bad parts. Yeah, it does. That's they what I hate. Never show the good. That's what I hate. Yeah. But it is what it is. <laughs> Sweet. What what's uh what's what do you like about America? I th- I think you guys have everything correct, and, there, and th- you follow the the rules, and that's that's good for for to know the culture and everything, you know, because you respect the law the 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 rules, and and that's that's good, and you you have a I know a lot of good people from America and. And where I live, I live 
uh, so relaxed and, and I have very good life there and I, I know very good people from here and, and I think the whole country have good things. Mm -hmm. Would you ever want like your, your son, like would you want them to be a boxer? I don't, I don't really want him to be a boxer, but uh, it's not my choice. Why, why wouldn't you want him to? Because boxing is hard. It's not a, it's, to be a champion, to be a great boxer is, is fucking hard. So much dedication, right? It's fucking hard. So much dedication. You need to have everything. Dedication, discipline, uh, your mind, talent, obviously. And I don't want it, but uh, at the end of the day, it's not, my, it's not what I want. It's what he wants. Are they ever in the gym, like, messing around with you yeah. and stuff? Yeah. He wants to be a boxer. Okay. He wants to be a boxer. He say, when when I'm going to fight in Vegas? I'll How old is he now? <laughs> he's five. Okay. How's his hands? He's, he's good. They're good? He's good. He's good. <laughs> I think you got to let him do it, though. If he wants, he wants I need to pro, support that. Would you rather have him be a boxer or a pro golfer? Pro golfer. Ooh. That's what's harder, though. Being pro golfer would both. be a dream, bro. Both. Yeah, but what do you think? What do you think would be harder? I think both, but a boxing you can you risk your harder. life. Come on, yeah, boxing you you risk your life and golf so chill. There's no, you can't risk injury. I think at all. golf, I think golf could be mentally mentally because like yeah. to be at the top level, it's no, that's, so that's thin fucking, and it's all mental. It's like and uh, it could probably just fuck I think with you, right? I need to. I think you need to be good, ten percent, just ten percent. Ten percent talent. Ten percent talent. And nineties mental. Yeah. That's probably Pro actually, yeah. I'm a head Golf kid. Is lose, fucking you ever lose your temper out there? Yeah. You throw a, clubs? A lot of times. I, no. Do you ever Not like, yet. do you ever right hook your like golf bag? Yeah. How many times? <laughs> <laughs> fucking golf is hard. Where's the best places to play in Mexico? Uh, we have a lot of good places. Cabo is have a, lot nice. of, a, lot Cabo. a lot of good courses. Um, and Jalisco have a good courses. Damn, I'm fired up for Mexico now. I want to go I know. there soon. Well, we're going to stay at your house, bro. <laughs> we'll, we'll, do, we'll do like three nights. Yeah? Yeah, that's not that Just bad. Just three nights? Well, I mean, if you'll have us for a month, <laughs> stay a month, bro. And then which, which, which car could we borrow? You, you can drive any car. Can't. Oh, can't? Can't, no. <laughs> Nobody can drive my car. You're 30, bro. Huh? You've 30. Yeah, but just for me. Does anybody else get to drive them? Or no. no. Nobody. How many, how many, I, that's a nice watch. How many watches do you have? Uh, don't I know. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but more, more than 50. More than 50? Yeah. What's, what's, what's the most expensive watch you bought? I have. You got a Richard. I've seen. Yeah, I have like a. A few probably. A few. Yeah. Three million. Yeah. Two million. Three what's, million, one watch? Yeah. God, that's such a flex. <laughs> Damn, I don't know if we'd fit in at your house, bro. No, why not? I don't know. Why not? Tell me. You're too, you're too good of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're too good of a person, bro. No, 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 no. You can. You can. You What's can been fit. your favorite purchase you've ever made? My favorite is, I think, my house. My how much is the My ranch in, it's not that, it's not, it's not how much, it's the, Location and the and the house I build, I build my my dream house. How often do you look back at this and you're just like, I can't believe how far I've come. No, I can't believe it right now. Yeah, because you seem you very know, grateful. Yeah, I can't believe right now because um, I just come in boxing and I say I want to be a champion. But then you realize it's going more things there, and when you turn around. And you say, oh, look what I did and all the, the, all the things I have. Like, I used to sell ice creams in the buses when I was seven years old. And right now, I'm on the buses. <laughs> I'm on the company, the biggest company in Mexico. So, it's something, and I buy it because I feel proud and I wanted to show every single people in Mexico, they can do everything if they want. If they want, they able to, to, to put the sacrifice and the discipline need to be, they can do anything. 
everybody can do anything. You need you you just need to find what you love and what you have talent. Yeah. Damn, I'm fired up. I know. That was inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You got anything? No, I think that was great. Saturday fight. Go got, go buy it. Yeah. Saturday's yeah. the fight. Tune in. We're gonna be watching for sure. Supporting. Thank you. Thank We're you. excited. And uh, we appreciate yeah, you, man. It's been You're an honor, bro. Thank you so much. It's very inspiring. Thank you. Yeah. Just, uh, you seem like a great guy, and <laughs> I wish you all the success and congrats uh, on you. everything. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll... We'll, we'll pull up with some, like a gift. We'll buy we'll, you an exotic a animal. guy to get a gift for. That's the only problem. But we'll yeah. get like a, like a rabbit or like... Uh, no, don't, no. Don't, don't tell me. Okay. <laughs> Surprise me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll buy something exotic. Yeah. You're not in charge, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, bro. All right, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome.